Hello, it's Boon here, and today we are going to transform this Margot Bar Margot Robbie Barbie doll into Harley Quinn. <laughs> Harley Quinn has a pale skin tone, so we will be doing some color changing for the head using soft pastel. And this fine lady over here is going to donate her body since she has a correct skin tone. She's a signature Barbie looks number 8 that I customized just for practice. I begin with cutting off all of her hair and then dunking her head in hot water to soften it and then unplug the remaining hair from the inside. Then we will paint her scalp to match her future hair. I am going to show you how I prep my raw Suri Alpaca fiber. I start by untangling the fiber by brushing it lightly. let it sit in soapy water. I very gently rub on the strands to help remove dirt and also vegetation that is stuck in the fiber and then leave them to dry overnight. I then turn them into weft just so it is easier to manage during reroute. Her hairstyle is going to be two simple pigtails, so we will part her hair in the middle. I begin rerouting one side of her hair to completion and then repeat the same process on the other side. Then we will lock them in place with glue like I did here. Now let's make her outfit. She will be wearing a very short pants and a simple t-shirt. I decided not to make her jacket because knowing how I am, I would constantly removing and putting on the jacket from time to time <laughs> and that may damage her bangles and the paint job on her hands and arms. Thank you. 
Here I am decorating the sleeves using red ribbon and I also put graphic design onto the shirt using heat transfer paper. Next, we will color the top of the shirt using red acrylic. To do this, I spread some water onto the fabric first and this will help the paint adhere better. I distress the shirt by making some holes on it and also add some decorative stitches. I've been struggling to find a way on how to make her shoes. I initially considered to use fabric, but with my current sewing skill, that would be impossible for me to execute. <laughs> so instead, I'm going to sculpt the shoes using cos clay. I managed to make shoe last out of epoxy sculpt and UV resin, and this will help us very much during the backing process. There are some small tear on the baked clay and this happened when I struggled to get the shoe off of the shoe last but this can easily be fixed with some liquid clay and then back them again.
Finally, I use UV resin to protect the shoes and the shoes are complete. Yay! <laughs> Now let's move on to the accessories. We'll start with the baseball bat. I will be carving them out of wood, but unfortunately the first one broke on me. So I got a stronger type of wood. And the result is better than I expected. Next, I use watercolor pencils to draw designs on the bat, and I also seal them using Mr. Super Clear in between layers. The handle is going to be covered using masking tape which I folded into half and then cut them into tiny strips. And then I seal them using gloss acrylic. Her gun is going to be made out of ABS plate and for those who aren't familiar with this ABS plate, this material is normally used by Gundam customizer. It can be carved, sanded and also bent if you immerse them in hot water. The belt will be made out of black faux leather which I will decorate with tiny eyelets and also gold metal studs. The buckle will be non-functional and I will be making it out of ABS plate 
which will be painted gold and glass with UV resin. Next is the body harness with holster and a bandolier, which is the part where we will store her gun and bullets, and for this we will also be using the same faux leather. The yes and sir bangles will be made out of foam and I will also be using heat shrink paper to create the letters. This material will shrink to about twice its size when heated with high temperature. And I also trim them down using my rotary tool. I also heat up the foam and press it a bit to make it thinner. The same method is used for the choker, the only difference is that we are using faux leather instead of foam. And the studded bangles is made out of polymer clay for the studs and wobla for the bangles itself. Let's move on to the face-up. We will first remove her factory paint using acetone. Then we will use soft pastel to change her skin tone. For the face-up, as usual, I will be using watercolor pencils, soft pastel, and some acrylic paints.
When doing face up, achieving vibrant color is done by doing it in layers. In this case, I am using Mr. Super Clear Sealant to seal each layer. Towards the end of the face up, I did not like the end result, so I redid her face by changing her expression to look more like Margot Robbie. Hmm. Like the face up, the tattoos are also made in the same method.
Finally, we will be styling her hair. I have already put her hair up in pigtails and now we will hide the tie using red and blue ribbon. And then we will cut it to length. Using soft pastel to color her pigtails, then I will apply heat to seal the color in and wash them using only water. I will be using this wire that is used in flower making to curl her hair. I applied some water and leave them to dry overnight or you can also use hair dryer for this. And with that, our Harley Quinn is complete. Until next time, bye! I'm on